Hello again, everybody. Deacon Mark and Mary Beth Barter here to share scripture and reflection. Today is Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. This is the fifth week of Lent in Cycle B. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance and in your kindness, grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace and from your hands, O oh, King, may he save us. But even if he will not, no, O oh, King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. The response, glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, we are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen. I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in the household forever. 
but a sun always remains. So if the sun frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. The president of a major financial institution, he returned to his alma mater one year for his class reunion. He just happened to drop in on his old economics professor. Well, as they were chatting, the professor said, here's something you might find interesting. This year's final exam. Well, the bank president scanned the questions. I could swear, Professor, that these are the identical questions that you asked my class 20 years ago. They are, the professor said with a smile. But if you always ask the same questions, don't you think the students will get wise? They do. Well, don't they pass the questions on to the next year's class? Of course they do. Then doesn't everyone get an A on every exam? Not at all, explained the professor. In economics, the questions stay the same year after year. We keep changing the answers. Humankind keeps looking for hard and fast truths, truths written in stone that will last forever, permanent truths that we can apply to every possible situation and question that life throws at us. Truths in black and white with no shades of gray. My friends, God and the things of God are the only lasting and permanent realities. But God continues to reveal himself in our time. The God who speaks in scripture did not suddenly go silent in the first century. Yes, our wants and our needs, our dreams, our expectations, well, they change in a moment. But the only real constant is God. God is still leading us to greater understanding of what Jesus calls all of us to become in the Gospels. God continues to speak and reassure us in the lives of integrity and selflessness lived by the prophets and the disciples of our age. Economic theories rise and fall, but the economics of God's kingdom will endure forever. Let us pray. God of wisdom, open our eyes to recognize you and your truth in all things. Open our hearts to accept what is good and just despite the costs. Open our spirits to know the freedom and the joy that is ours by embracing your spirit of truth, of mercy and compassion. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.